In this video, I'm going to share with you a workflow to efficiently communicate with your patients. Yo, what's up guys? This is Adrian Hahn, and this channel aims to level up your dental photography. Welcome. We all share the same problem. We took good dental photography, but then we do not have an efficient way to show our patients our photos at once. What would we usually do is to take a photo with our cameras and show them on the camera screen. This method is fast, but then the monitor of our camera screen is very, very small. And the resolution on this camera screen is also not perfect. Another method we might use is taking one more set of photos on our mobile phones. As we all understand, mobile phone photography is at a very acceptable quality. However, the LED light on the camera or the external LED lights that you can buy in the market, in my opinion, is not bright enough and doesn't provide sufficient light for dental photography, especially on posterior teeth and uh, mirror shots such as the occlusal views. Some of us might ask our assistant to take out the SD card from the camera and then to import the photos in our computer. And this gives a big workload to our lovely assistant and it's not quite instant. And uh, previously there was also some SD card with inbuilt Wi-Fi function. But since the camera in recent years has already got Wi-Fi inbuilt, the Wi-Fi SD card is slowly disappearing. Lastly, we could also connect a USB cable from the camera to the computer for real-time transfer of photos. This method is probably most professional and the quickest as you use the USB cable, but then it will make your clinic quite messy because the USB cable you need would be very, very long, depends on your clinic size. What I'm introducing to you today is an application on your tablet, which allows the camera to connect and transfer photos to your tablet wirelessly by inbuilt Wi-Fi in real time when you are taking photos. I'm going to show you on an iPad. An iPad as a tablet has a very good advantage of having a big, nice, high resolution screen. You can also draw on the screen and explain to the patient, act annotation and explain to the patient very nicely. So here we go. Hello, this is my 2013 iPad and very ancient one. So if my iPad can do it very smoothly, your tablet could probably do it very smoothly too. So first I would like to introduce an application on the lower right corner, which is called the Canon Camera Connect. You can easily find it in your Apple App Store and also the Google Play Store, and it is free. Let's start the application. For the first time when you start the application, you need to pair up the iPad and also your camera. But then afterwards, all you need to do is just click the auto transfer button. Just click here. And then they will try to pair up for the second time. So all you need is around 30 seconds to 45 seconds. So as if you want to join the camera network, yes, I want to join. And uh, you need to wait patiently and please click the like button and share your comments. So we wait because this is an old iPad. Okay, let's see. Octo transfer, yes, reduce image size. Let's see the reduce image size quality. So after we set up all these, we can go out to the photo application. And in the photo application, there is uh, inside the album, Canon EOS M50, which is my camera. And then you can have an album inside. So let's start. Let's start to have some photos shooting. So let's see how quick it transfer. One, two, three, click. And then on the right side, one, two, three, click. And then the third one, one, two, three. So we have already got three photos here. So let's see how is the quality of the reduced size image. So the first one, let's see. Actually, if you explain to patient on the iPad screen, which is right over here, 
it's quite, it's quite easy. So you zoom in, zoom out, and you can draw on it. And then this one is quite good, having quite good quality. You can see the bristles of the toothbrush is very well documented. And the transfer is also quite fast. You can see that it uses only around two to three seconds. So if you take the full sets of intraoral and extraoral pictures, then you can, at real time, you basically take out the iPad and you can explain to patient about everything already. We have just demonstrated the method to transfer image real time from a Canon camera to your tablet. Remember to check whether your Canon camera is compatible with this function. As far as I know, Canon cameras in recent years with at least digit 8 processor support this function. Please double check before buying. I personally brought my iPad to the Canon showroom to test it before I bought the camera. For Nikon user, there is a very similar application called SnapBridge. Nikon SnapBridge. Please check your camera compatibility before buying. For Sony camera, as far as I know, it doesn't support real-time transfer of photos from the camera to the application yet in 2020. So please leave a comment below and tell us what method are you using and then what method do you think is most efficient to communicate with your patients. So that's all. See you next time. Keep shooting and you're welcome.